which I was doing. Okay, everybody. Our power went out. Um, we are back. It's Ray's fault. Stupid power went out. I was about to put your screen up there. Fucking technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the stream. We are doing the last scenario in the uh, introductory scenario, um, how to play. It's called Sweet Justice, where we are assaulting Alex's gang's base. Alex's gang name is uh, Ebony and Agony, mm -hmm. uh, the gangers. Uh, Ray and Alex <coughs> are basically uh, have some sentries, four guys set up in their base. Uh, the rest of the guys are, once the alarm is raised, they can come from off uh, the board from anywhere. And today we have uh, Judge Angry Joe and Judge Lopez. The real ones. These are the real ones. No more pussing out. No more saying that they're Flopez <laughs> and, and Angry Tim. These are, if we die, then we die. And that's it. Um, luckily, it's uh, the the base is not alerted. It's a stealth mission. However, me and Joe are not known for um, <laughs> not our stealth, all. so it may not go so well. Uh, let's see how many tokens are in here. There's only three blues. <laughs> I need more blues. Four blues and one gold, and the rest of these four will go in later. No, not one gold, two golds, two gold stars. Okay, we're set up and ready to play Sweet Justice. Now, uh, the objective, the Justice Department players win if the high, uh, if Alex's gang have four models subdued or incapacitated at the end of the game. The high rollers win if the judges have one model subdued or incapacitated at the end of the game. The game ends when ju one judge model is subdued or four high rollers are subdued or incapacitated. So basically, one versus four. So we got to get four of them while they only have to get one of us. <laughs> okay, let's do it, Joe. Uh, <laughs> Don't blow this for us. I know you guys. Lucky you didn't do predictions. And we, when we do our, <laughs> let's see, do we start or do we just draw? I think we draw. Yeah, I think we draw. Okay, Joe, I'm gonna have you draw because it's always the most fun to have you draw. And we got our cards here, Joe. We have ricochet shot, seeker shot, high explosive. Basically, our lawgivers are packed to the brim. We have months for brains, spy in the sky, and bring it on that we can use. All right, ready? I am ready. Pull gold, Joe. That is not gold. But luckily, they're not alert right now. Mm -hmm. They are uh, in sentry mode. So Sleepy. let's. Guard, 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 yeah. guard, guard, guard. We're guards. Guard, 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 guard. So choose which guard you guys want to uh, give that token to. Where's the token? Right here. Choose which one? Uh, downstairs shotgun guy front door. Yeah. Big downstairs a shotgun front door right here. So what happens is um, whenever a sentry is activated, Alex, roll a combat dice. Got it. I missed. Oh. I hit. Uh, you got a hit. Okay. So on a hit, they may make one normal move action. So that is the result that you wanted. This uh, gives you control. So of now him. we can actually. Otherwise, move him out. you would not have control of him. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna have him, I guess, pace in front of the. Let's build. say you want to move down the road this way, or just. I mean, it's just like if we're trying to like min max the game, yeah, that we run right towards him and then we just alert everyone immediately. But that seems. Yeah, there's no kinda, restrictions. Like I could just charge where you guys enter the map. You don't know where we enter the map. Oh, okay. They'll say it. They, can, these guys aren't here. One, two, three. There's three possible avenues. We can put them down the middle to mitigate yeah, we'll and force them to come in a different direction. Put them in the middle of the street, I guess. Yeah. Okay. He's been activated. Uh, next, Joe. Draw. Guard, 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 guard. It's a goal. Yeah, you go first this time. <laughs> oh, Joe <laughs> wants me to go first. Oh, we've been waiting for you. All right. <laughs> um, let's see. Which side should I come in from? Um, 
Let Joe, let's 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 come real stealth like. You know? Uh so I'm gonna come from this direction. Don't sprint because if you sprint then it's null and void. Oh, here's charge. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Huh? No. I use Who's there? I use Stridor. <laughs> it spies for the shadows. Yep. <laughs> so this wall was blown out previously and I'm coming behind uh this office uh, back. thing here. <laughs> And that deploy models, Justice Department deploys. No, that's a different model. Judges move on from the attacker's uh, table edge when they activate on the first turn. So I've got one single action left. I can do a move again. Let's do a move again. Now, um, I'm gonna go this way. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh my god. <gasps> Blau. Game. Uh, Joe, Blouse. did you just draw another token? I did. Oh, it's a blue. All right, who you want to give it to, Ray? Let's roll. <laughs> she want me rolling? Yeah. Who are you giving it to, Ray, before you roll? <coughs> well, he already did it to... Um, yeah, the guy in the center, so down, the other downstairs guy? Yeah, this the, guy? the guy in the corner. You rolled a hit! God damn it! Okay. I mean, yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, where do you want to move him? You want to put him behind boxes? Yeah, I'd move. Well, yeah. Because that'll have two out of three avenues of approach covered. And I think you would uh, you would have line of sight to my guy here. Oh, yeah. That sounds. So we're going to go. I was saying, I'm not going to throw him all the way out there, but if we can get these now guys. Now let's see what happens when you potentially uh, get line of sight on me like that. Um. I smell a judge. Now you don't <laughs> automatically detect me unless you're two inches away, which is your right, cool it's value. Right, outside of my cool So range. you're going to have to make Come a stand. roll. What the sentry needs to score depends on how much cover the judge is in. Um, right there, that's going to be heavy cover. So I need the special? Yeah. You need the special. Yeah. Well, the odds are one in six, and I am low roll race. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, one. Please. Damn. Okay, he does not <laughs> see us yet. Okay. Uh, draw some more tokens, Joe. God dang it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that goes to, uh, yeah, there's a storm going on right now. That's why we lost, and the, there's thunder in the background. We're worried about losing uh, yeah, power, again. power again. If it happens, that's, what, that's what's going on. How do we get off a roof? <coughs> uh, there's Jump. assume that there's <laughs> stairs. And it's just like you measure vertically. And, and you measure take the vertically. fire escape. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also probably uh, jumping. Uh, I'll look at the rule specifically for jump. OJ. Is that shit freaking blue? <laughs> <laughs> just jump, see what happens. Splat. Movement That's one less. 17. I landed on my double pump shotgun. Oh. <laughs> I made it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See terrain section, page 34. Uh-huh. Another storm in Central Texas. Gee, who'd have thought? <laughs> well, I'm glad I left my top up. Because <laughs> that would have sucked. Like, I'd drive home in a swimming pool. <laughs> Backstroke. <laughs> Model using a leap climb. Double action to go up and down. Oh, cool. Falling, if there's elevation of any kind, you can almost guarantee someone's going to try to take the high ground and then fall off it. Models that are pinned, injured, or stunned within one inch of the ledge or drop have a chance to fall. Okay, that's something different. Yeah, that's so cool. you got to take a double if you want to go up or down. Okay, I'll just activate the guy with the rifle. I can move him... And then I guess I will just 
Move him down? Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah, so now we have all three well, avenues where's the of token approach covered. Yeah, I'm letting him be token man. <laughs> token man! <laughs> well, isn't that all their tokens? No, there's no, one more on the ledge. One more on the so fire. 50 50 split. God dang it, Joe. Drew a blue. Stack and a Sorry, I guarantee. <laughs> I I, I'm next. <laughs> I'm oblivious. Special. Gar, 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 oh, gar, that gar, gar, actually gar, gar. is, I think, in that's our where favor. You guys that's get where to move we him. can move him. I like that system. That's really cool. Um, so, yeah, the 2000 AD, the Justice Department player, may make a normal move action. So we're definitely going to take this. Oh, this guy here. So, no, this guy, he's going to bed. <laughs> that's what I say. Hey, you bitches watch the street. I'm going to count some sheep. <laughs> oh. Go to sleep. <laughs> All right, I'm All right, OJ. Go to sleep, motherfucker. All right, I think I'm next. <laughs> I sure am tired, boss. <laughs> Joe's next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Give me, give me the token. Uh, tell me where you want to come in from. This side. Okay. Mm. That's, ooh, Okay. Wait, I'm um, like unsure if you could like come over there. Yeah, choke him out. Yeah, char use the charge action. That's what that does. <laughs> I'm gonna walk. So calmly. you can't go. You can't come. I can. I can give you right, right here. I can give you right here because uh, this this board has been halved, and you can't come in on their half. So I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to run into the building real quick. That's not possible. So. You have to come in from the side here, or you can, you can come in in my direction. There's lots and lots of cover over here where they're not going to see you, Joe. Yeah, let's I'd go I'd recommend that building. Going, coming from this way. So you're going to go D6. All right. It's sprint. All right, behind the two. Don't. <laughs> I am not allowing you to sprint. <laughs> Charge. Sprint. The reason why is because sprinting would immediately raise the alarm, and we're trying not to do that. So now you have another action, Joe. So give me more beyond cover further. Do you up. want to uh, go get some, go up the stairs, get some elevation, or would you like to um, stay on the bottom floor? I'm comfy. Let's do elevation. Okay. Now, when you do stairs, I believe it's uh, counted as uh, difficult terrain, so it'll cost. <laughs> Double going up the stairs. Double checking on that. <laughs> Sprint! Terrain. Difficult. Uh, walls, fences, other barriers, broken ground. <laughs> when OJ <laughs> gets spotted. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Ladders and stairs. Each. Yeah, just. Yeah, one, one inch vertical, one inch. <laughs> That's all you got? It's a one-inch vertical Gravitron? Yeah. <laughs> you better get your ass back to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Hernius okay. Maximus Meridius. <laughs> so to get up would cost you three. Oh. To get there would cost you three. So you can get just barely like right here. Breakfast for dinner sounds so good. Okay. Now, uh, before we continue here... Um, I wanted to do that thing where, you know, the, 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 the cool thing that the judges get, that make judges judges. Remember where I could put the thing back in? Yeah. But you know what? I forgot that. Since we have Joe, let's have Joe do it. So, Joe. Um, put it back in. Test for cool. Hold on. You got to test your cool. I'm going straight for you. Which one are you? Go for broke. Roll the <laughs> yes. cool dice. If the special is rolled, return the star chip to the uh, bag. If it's the last chip in the bag, we have a negative two modifier to that roll. Yeah, it's probably so not a good idea. You're only so much of a better. Your cool judge. would be two. Would be four minus two. It would be two. Um, Pretty risky. I can't believe I forgot to do it again. How how about um, will you let us do a prior? Alex says thumbs up. So this is your one. Is <laughs> Everybody one. gets one. Yeah. It still only counts as one. <laughs> okay, so the cool test to get my chip back. He, my guy rolls five dice. 
Uh, that's only four dice. What did I you need passed, to roll? Though. You got a special. I did get a special? Yeah, yeah. All right, we're good. So the chip would go back into the bag, and we'll just assume that it is the last chip in the bag, and I get to reactivate. So let's activate with my guy. <sighs> we're kind of stuck. Yes. I could sneak because, remember, he doesn't get an opportunity to... Oh, no, because that would be within two inches of him. I was going to sneak up to the boxes, and then he'd have to roll, but I would be within two inches. That's you know what special, sucks dude. is I think because they got their sentries moved, they put them in really nice positions. We could hang out, and we can hope that we get to move their sentries next time. That could open up. That's fun. But if we, or, ever, if we ever get to move them, we can just go touch you. Yeah. They can call because they know that they kind of have a It's a 50% good idea. chance for us to move, and it's a 1 in 6. It's so 15%. It's like 15 and change. So, like, just. Should we open up? Announce your presence with authority. I got a boingy ball for you, bitch. <laughs> uh, I think we should open up, Joe. Do it. Fuck it. Open I'm up opening and up. Say, ah. <laughs> I am firing. Is this camera fucking blurry? I think it was blurry. All right, so uh, Angry Joe is firing at that uh, Jew, which will raise the alarm after my action. A woo guy! <laughs> uh, let me see if I want to use anything. Alive. Allah, Allah, you need the Allah, Allah, you need to read the Quran. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to Matt. I'm gonna get my CD back. I need to play some more Hellgate London. It's been mm -hmm. too long, man. I need to go super retro with this shit. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to high explosive him right off the bat, Joe. Templar's coming back, baby. So throw high explosive. High explosive, page 52. This bitch tried to incinerate me. <laughs> right off the gate. Power five blast. <clears throat> You're not mad about the last two rounds, are you? I would be a negative one to my roll because uh, it's long range. High explosive. Let's go cover. Or no, wouldn't it be not because I'm using my gun? Use with throw or as a special round okay i can well let's not use it as a throw let's use it as a special round that's why it's within range so we're good because the range is, i'm using the actual gun and we are in short range for the lawmaster so lawmaster plus one five dice uh i want to use six cents because if we shoot you first do we initiate the alarm I don't think you can do that. Can you read me? Can you? Yeah, play his reaction to a friendly model chosen as a target for an enemy shot. The friendly model may face and then shoot in a snapshot in return. May shoot a snapshot in return. Okay. So that's in, in the alarm is targeted. that's after. So I'm going to fire at you first. You're probably not going to want to use that because I'm going to blow that guy to kingdom come. I thought that was the response of being targeted. But yeah, we played this last time as you shoot first. Well, we played it wrong, I believe. No, because OJ got the fire. Play as a before. reaction for a friendly model chosen as a target for an enemy shot. Yeah, I remember we played that. The friendly model may turn to face the shot and fires a snapshot in return. Just as if they had the gunfighter skill. I'm sorry. Yeah, we played that card wrong last time. So I think the gunfighter skill, though, if we read the actual gunfighter section... It may happen simultaneously to where even if you have, like, some negatives on you, you, you won't have to worry about it until the next turn. When a model with a gunfighter skill successfully dodge, some individuals are naturally gifted, dodges, or rolls a special on its resist, it can get a return snapshot. In order to shoot back, must not be pinned either already or the incoming attack. No, I was wrong. Uh, but, yeah, you'll get a, a snapshot after this. Okay, so anyways, I've hit Pretty you too. just barely with one hit. See if you guys can evade with two dice. 
And that's my guy? Yep. Yeah, so there, here's a vein Just a little snip. Oof, special. The vein! <sighs> Over here! Am I not going to get to use I explosive here. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. All right, shoot him back. A woo got. Oh, and this Gun, one has gunfighter the... skill. I was trying to see if he just has a pistol or if he's got the stumpy. That's so the he's stump. a he's a, a a ganger. So two dice, right? Or is it three to shoot? Uh, he's short range with the sawed off, so it's plus two. So uh, four dice. Four. What's the short range on the sawed off? Ten. Ten. <laughs> yeah, it seems weird that the pistols. That's to say the pistols yeah. just seem weaker compared to. Well, well, then it is the shotgun. Doesn't that mean that? I would have assumed that shotguns are way more dangerous at super, super close range. Yeah, I figured they'd be like six yeah. or eight, but to give them ten where a pistol has eight. I guess. I don't know. Pistols, short range, 8 plus 1, long range, 16. The The negative of the fucking shotguns is that you cannot shoot them at all if I'm outside of 10. So I guess, that's, off, yeah. I guess that's how they're balancing that. <laughs> which again, but anyway, that is the auto stump, which is short range, 10, long range, 18. So you get plus 2, so that's so that 4 dice. Four. That would be a hit. Mm -hmm. And I am a senior judge. My evade is three. You're a veteran judge, and your evade is three. Joe, let's see if I can evade. No evasion. God damn it. Poggers. Four. Fucking shotties. What the shotty to the body make them drop much quicker. <laughs> Oh, God. Four flames. Power four minus heavy cover. So, two. You're rolling two dice. Oh. Well. Miss. Whiff. No hit. Right. Well, actually, I have to roll my defense. Oh! Stun! Stun! <laughs> so, even though he didn't do damage, the, the fucking shoddy, I take a little bit of fucking... Uh, bullets, which is a pin? No, it's, no, it's, it's a, a stun. stun yeah, damn, damn, damn. It has begun. They know. <laughs> they know. So the alarm has been Arugula. raised now. <laughs> <laughs> Arugula. Okay. Um. So do so all, now the all the other chips go all the in chips now? go back into the bag. Yeah, and the alarm has been officially raised. All the chips so are now, uh, when the alarm is sounded after the first turn or after the first turn is over, your new guys can come on the board, and we <laughs> no longer <laughs> do the sentry stuff. And that one. And you already got the other ones. Yeah, and the other guy's definitely getting his ass out of bed. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> trouble? Why Shotgun. <laughs> Hold on, it doesn't say anything on a successful. Well, what happens when the alarm is raised? It doesn't actually say. I don't know if that, if it immediately ends the turn, or like you said, if all the chips, all the unactivated chips. No, I just was wanting to know: does the when the alarm is raised, does this sentry rule go away? It never says. Whether the sentry rule then goes away, which I assume it would. Yeah, because now we know where. Or is it just because we know where just one of you is? It doesn't matter if one of you gets spotted, then the alarm goes up. Let's see how they word it, because that just seems odd. The last mission. I. I'm going to assume the spirit of the rule is that the alarm is up and no longer. The, they don't any longer have to follow the sentries stuff, which seems I don't think that's going to be fair because if they have eight guys and we only have two barreling down on again, if we just focus they just fire, gotta focus on one, they win. Right. So I think that the alarm is actually up 
And what the alarm does is just allow them to bring in their reinforcements. It doesn't actually stop the sentry rule. I think the sentry rule is still in place. It doesn't make thematic sense. Yeah, I, I think you're right, but I fucking hate it. I hate because that it's it, not real. Because if there's contact. Well, because what they can do is what they would just it, they would murder everyone inside, and none of the gunfire would alert anybody, even if we're firing back. Mm -hmm. But you know technically where I'm at, and as soon as that alarm is raised, you're able to bring in double the amount of yeah. troops that you had originally. Oh, I don't like it. I don't, I don't and like And you know exactly where we're at. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of you is. So, um, and all that's doing is it handicaps you because you're rolling a dice where we get to move your guys if you fail the roll. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you get to move your guys. I think I still like it because it's balanced in that way. You have eight guys and we only have two guys. <coughs> and there's a chance that we can move your guys. That makes sense. One out of six chance that we can move your guys. Yeah, it's just, it's like the worst thing in any video game where you're full autoing the an entire base and the alarm hasn't gone off. Yeah. And like no silence. So thematically, thematically yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a flavor fail, but I think, I think that's how it has to be. Okay. Um, okay. Well, the alarm has been raised. So what happens? No. So the another thing happens raised. is yes, the alarm has been raised because I fired. What did he shot at? I shot my high explosives. So now we put in four more chips into that bag. Can I, I get that back? Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the guys that were oh, I did it already. Yeah, five more chips. I already did it. All right, so now we roll. Uh, so right now in that bag, there should be, um, I think there's eight guys and two of us, right? Eight blues and two golds. Okay, good. Let's go. All right. All right. More likely, it's going to be blue. Pocket head. It is blue. All right. Who wants to go? You want me to bring the guy out of the bedroom and onto the floor? Because <laughs> oh, we're still in sentry mode for everything. You will always be in sentry mode, which just requires a die roll. Yeah. I don't like it either. Let me let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see. It. So you got the so nothing happened. armor result. The sentry takes no action and remains stationary. Okay, so I'm still in the bedroom. That's where we connect. Well, right. next time we gotta announce who you wanna. No, do I did. He did. He oh, said. Okay. What you got. Deploy models. Sentries. No, it says right here. We missed it. Sentries. The very first thing sentence is until the alarm is sounded. That's what I'm saying. So but the alarm has been sounded. Like said, you once, don't once have he, to do that. Once he's shot, right. everybody should be alerted. Okay, we're, we're back to good. Man, this is fucking hard as shit then for the judges. Holy fuck. Well, that's why you're coming in with powerful weapons, and I'm playing I, I suppose, skank. yeah. Because remember, you only got to drop four of us. All right. What do you want to do with that guy? Well, do you want to move that guy, or do you want to, now that you can do anything that you want with anyone you want? No, no. He targeted that particular guy. That's what you said he announced. Yeah, yeah but he thought he was in sentry mode. What? What does it matter whether he's in That's sentry mode or not? Up. Because he, he could move. He could him. move the guy and just go shoot you real quick if he oh, wants Oh, this to. guy over here. You're right. Yeah. yeah, go ahead if you want. That it, makes sense. It's just like up to up to you whatever you want to do. I know because I'm still in cover, but so is he. That's the, that's the move. But he's, he's I'm stunned, going to... and so you could just get in close combat and just try to get more damage in on him, I guess. You do not want a close combat with him. <laughs> Well, I'm still in short range since all I have is the shot. He's in heavy cover, though. So if you just move up to him, you'll, he's oh. not in heavy cover, and you get four dice in his face. Let's do it. Okay, you're going to move. Oh. Uh. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, thank God for not back. <laughs> you are. You've got one hit. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try to evade. Minus one for the stun marker. So only two dice to attempt to evade. Need a 2000 AD. Do not get the 2000 AD. All right, uh, four. Oh, <laughs> four. <laughs> Wait. What? what? Ray, what the fuck? So, 
Super Soldier Serum. <laughs> Shotgun. <laughs> but a shotty to the body makes him drop much quicker. <laughs> That's so fucking dumb. It's not over. It's dumb in a good way. All right, four minus one, so I've got three to block. You need these. Fuck. None of this is helping me. I need these. <laughs> Match my fire. <laughs> Did I just take four wounds? What's your guys? Or I think it can only go, go up to three. I think it can only go up to three. Wow, low roll ray. Okay, that's an epic moment right there. You said, fuck this judge right now. And the judge did not expect it. High explosive, and you and it's like, I Come got Come here, little peon. I'm going to incinerate you. I'm on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I just used a high explosive. I got him. Did you get him? What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's like, running towards me. <laughs> fuck him. Wow. All right, so Ray's turn is over. If I, if Ray is in Overwatch standing next to you and you activate, does he immediately shoot at you? I before don't anything know. else happens. Like this, how, this how I think so. Oh, that's I, not stupid. activate. It's I think it's a move. But I'll double check. Can't stop. Won't stop. Because <laughs> I can just immediately make you set Overwatch um, during any subsequent activation. The model can make a ranged attack against a model that takes an action within their. Yep. So Ooh. I can do cover me right now and have that guy go it into just Overwatch. Blast again. Oh um, my you, god! You, uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to uh, play a card immediately. One model may remove all pin and stun markers and take an immediate single action. I'm going to. Re remove this and take an immediate single action with all right all right creep bring it on okay so i am really hurt though so that's five dice but then minus three so i only get two dice to try to hit him please i need this so that i'm gonna have time to fucking heal Yes, one hit. Just roll two for evade. Please do not evade, Ray. Do not evade, Ray. Hey! He's fucking bending all over the place. What do you say, Ray? Remo Williams. He's slow mowing. Joe, retreat, <laughs> retreat. I'm already gone. I fucking love. Uh, <laughs> More faces fighting. Tell my Neil. wife I love her. <laughs> I will hold her dearly. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking Pearl Harboring you over here. Fuck. He said he wanted you to move on. All right, All right I'm going to place that guy into Overwatch. Ray's guy into Overwatch. and uh, I'm going to do months for brains. The next model that your opponent activates must pass a cool test before. Okay. So Ray's dude and this guy will be in Overwatch. What cards do you have? I got stems, no. smoke bomb, but we're gonna boing this bitch. I don't even no, want to kill him. I'm gonna hold that card in my hand because I want to <laughs> use it on that activation. So it, you've just pulled a blue. Another chip. blue. Oh, oh baby. Well, it's gonna be hard, right? You only got two out of eight. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna boing your ass. Tan. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, say, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's uh, let's go back and review this. You're setting an Overwatch on the guy that already had an activation token. Correct. That's not Correct. gonna happen. He's already activated. Unless you have a card that is going to be able to pick this token up. Yeah, so yeah, that we did. He could then yeah, it said, well, it says cover me. Two unpinned friendly models may immediately go into Overwatch. Can you have a model that's already activated go into Overwatch? I guess I is the I'll, I'll have no idea. question. Survey <clears throat> Rudd. Set Overwatch. Turn the model in. So that's a double action, but if you already have a double action, then I don't think you can go into Overwatch. 
updated knowledge. Mm. Thank you so much for but subscribing. But if it's placed by a card, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's gonna have to be an FAQ because I don't think it's gonna until the Overwatch model. The fate of OJ. Though I, on. I <laughs> though I did see at some point in the rules, I did read cards supersede rules in the rule book. So if we're going by that, then you can do it. From what I understand, I'll look it up later. That's that's one that's probably gonna well. take a little time unless you can find it. Uh, anyways, so we've got a blue activation uh, token. Whatever you want to do, guys. What would you like to do, Ray? Um, or who's who's going? I would do the thing that you wanted to do, right? I wanted to do that to him. He's almost dead. All, all we have to do is kill one and we win. Do what? I thought we had to kill them both. No, no. we only kill one. What do you oh, want to do? We have to kill four. You <laughs> he never ever get the Another boinger. Another card. <laughs> Boingers. Illegal boinging. boinging. Illegal, Illegal boinging. boinging carries stiff penalties, but... Um, resolve as a high X detonation centered on a nominated model anywhere on the tabletop. <laughs> I think you would like to boing you, sir. He never ever get the boing. Are boinger. you kidding me? Subject, that's too powerful. <laughs> that's, Agree. You gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what the introductory scenario gave us. Um, all it's right. Like, do you like judges? Well, they're all gonna die. So fuck you. It's you like, know what? Oh. Oh, That's man. a nice boulder. <laughs> I mean, luckily, if we were picking our own equipment and shit, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. when, you, when you're when you drawing, you draw six cards and you choose three. So, I mean, you could get lucky and get it otherwise get a in this particular one. Every time I say boinger, the trash can opens up. It's like, yes, <laughs> it's like eating the boinger. Boingers. <laughs> I've taken so a high X is a, is a power five. Uh, you are in short range, so it's a plus one to your throw. So you're doing a throw with a, a, a so two dice plus one. So roll three dice to see if you can even hit. Because fuck you, uh, you I missed you with my high X. I think you're gonna make. Hopefully you will miss me with your. Oh, high he's X. going to. So I roll yeah, three. Does Sims do anything? Uh, Stim gives me Stims. plus one fight and plus one resist. Okay, that's so the, so the fight yeah. doesn't add up no, the die. Throw is different. <clears throat> yeah, oh. that's one I had last time. It's for fighting. Okay, so I'm looking for a special out of three. No, hit out of three. Oh, I hit. Still gonna miss. Shit, this is for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lanta! <laughs> Ray's on fucking fire today. No, no, no. He's on, on fire. fire. <laughs> This ain't our game, Joe. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Feel right. the power! Um, I'm going to have five helmets. So, well, you you do hit. Now, I do have a chance to... <gasps> I can't How injured are you? dodge. <laughs> I can't dodge because I've got negative three on me right. with these hearts. <laughs> so I, I just take the five dice. Roll <gasps> five dice of damage. Don't miss on all these. Well, I do oh, get God. resist, but I only have a resist of uh, You know what one. happens when I flex my pinky? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got one Please resist. Please miss all of them. I got one resist. Don't laugh, Dark Knight. It's one happened on. before tonight. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it happened! <laughs> Blocked, it. Don't. baby! But you take a stun and die anyway? Because mm, no. that adds to his cool. Uh, oh, I think you are correct because stun and injuries. It is true. I got one! <laughs> <laughs> that one dude, that one intro level dude killed a, a veteran judge. Twice. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's the same guy who ran down the street. Is this him? This who we want. <laughs> to be fair. He did roll all hits, all, all that, all that hit, was hit that was nuclear. That times. shit never happened. That guy's now the leader of the gang. Yeah, you've been promoted. That kid. guy's <laughs> earthquake now. <laughs> you did what? You killed the judge all by yourself? A veteran judge? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, our judges have not Look been at me. properly trained. I'm the uh, sugar king now. <laughs> Ang uh, judge Angry Joe has died. Um, so the. High rollers, players win if uh, the judges have one model subdued or incapacitated. I don't know if this is properly balanced or if this is just insane luck on their end because as the judges, it is so fucking hard. It, it because is. you come in with so much armor, but all hard. it takes is 
one missed shot or the, the problem one, is one y'all trip. have eight fucking tokens in the bag and we have two and that's just not fair yeah we have the get to draw if we could pull it <laughs> but i that's the one thing that i don't like i feel like the whole game is on that bag draw it's lopsided to that bag draw but this could just be a string of bad luck regardless of us losing soul fuck and this is an introductory this is just kind of to learn the game um obviously when you're building your own mission the rumble mission which uh rumble in jungle uh so it's, yeah i was we don't have time to play that one but uh each guy would get his own color in the bag you'd bring 50 notoriety points each model has a number of point values and then we'd toss a four player uh judge dread game but it was good enough to where i'd want to play again but we have uh we have lost joe okay let's go to pick for yourself i left <laughs> <laughs> the real okay, OJ so, ran away. So I live to find another day. In order for Joe to, uh, let's figure out what Joe did. So Joe came down the thing and he called in. That support. was my movement. That's it. Sad bubble noises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joe, <laughs> Joe, I need rec- I need help. I. I need help. Don't tell your wife about I'm, you. I'm, I'm actually <laughs> so you know thematically. I'm actually not dead. I'm I'm in a fucking uh, boingy bumble, and they are k- holding me prisoner in the boing uh, bumble with a new gang you, leader. With a new gang leader, this guy. <laughs> Just remember, I want him. He's mine. <laughs> and uh, and Joe, you have to assemble a team of judges to come break me out. We need Is like the... twenty judges. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It feels crazy. I just don't know about that. I'd have to play a little bit more yeah. for that judge balance to see if if that's you know satisfactory. Hey, but, word, right. word on the street with his uh, girthquake ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Final impressions. Uh, for me, it's gonna be almost. Oh well, no, it's gonna be a borrow for me. Like right now, the judges don't feel very powerful. That's. I wanted to feel like I was a judge, but right now nothing indicated that we felt. Yeah, to be like, honest, the yeah. gang members are the fucking gang members just beat like the once shit they got their cards. If anything, it should up. be weighted to judges beating the shit out of the exactly. gang. Exactly. That's why Alex was like, "Wait, why do I have to be the gangers?" <laughs> no, but like I thought for sure we were all gonna get like eviscerated. Like, table but just white. That's just not how it worked here. No, because like, like you said... Oh, we just it, played it, three it, scenarios in a row. It matters the luck of the draw on these chips, and I try to just bolt, but they already got set up with Overwatch and everything. They mm-hmm. already stunned me. They got some lucky shots. I was dead before like I could do anything. I was already dead. Yeah. Because they all just the, like... The fact that there's three <laughs> mechanisms, mm. there's pin, stun, and uh, injury... When when if you're st- fucking stunned, and you're getting negative one to all your stats, As that means all that judge statuses. That means all that judge advantage disappears exactly instantly. That's what it's like. I was pinned over there with the with the Overwatch already, and then they go four more times because mm-hmm. I couldn't draw any of the R's, and right. I was just dead. I and I think I the only thing that could have mitigated it in this <clears throat> in this particular episode, yeah, we had because. In between those two rounds or me coming back after him, mm-hmm. if you had the stim pack card, yeah. you could have removed his stuns. You could have maybe done some healing to him. But yeah, the fact that we started cards, with that, I was like, oh, yeah. we've got a power advantage here. Yeah, that's why I think it needs a little bit of a power Balance issue. Balance path? Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's a borrow for me. Okay. Like, I like the way this looks and everything thematically. It fucking looks amazing as like, it felt like I was... In the streets of, uh, I went Mexico over City, the top on this, Joe, because that, like, this terrain is this? from Battle Systems, and I bought that separately, so that doesn't come with the game. It's oh. all 2D terrain. So yeah, all right. Well, it's a bar for me. Okay. Next. Okay, I like the fact that the miniatures were painted. I like how they did have different judges I painted from the them. different they cities. They come unpainted, uh, uh, Ray. 
It come unassembled and unpainted. <laughs> oh wow! This is a miniatures game. You gotta buy okay, it. So pretty much like every other over. miniatures game. Okay, then for another factor, don't, don't give them any negatives for that because that's no, what no, no. they're all like. Yeah, Except but for say that's Street Fighter, the miniatures game, uh, and there they you go. come. From <laughs> but what was the price on this? For the base. Uh, it's 60, 70. Uh, you can get it on Amazon for 60, but normally I think it's 70. And how many models do they come with for the uh, base? You get eight gangers and two judges. Two judges. Basically, what we were playing with in this right. introductory scenario. Right, and that was all that was for 60. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so taking that into effect and taking the balance, right. or up until these last couple of luck rolls, like I said, lack of, because mm -hmm. I think judges should absolutely be tougher, seeing as how they're meant to go on against gangs. Yeah. I'll, I'll go and I'll review the rules just in case, but I agree. But all in all, I enjoyed the combat system. The cards actually mm -hmm. do make a huge advantage swing one way or the other. Mm -hmm. For me, this is going to be a solid borrow. Okay. I At first, I thought this was going to be not a burn, but I thought it was going to be a bail, but... Mm -hmm. I want to see if there's a co-op mode, like if the four of us could go against a scenario boss or something. Yes, so that get would this. Um, it doesn't come in this game, but somebody in Board Game Geek, I looked it up, did a co-op version where you go against perps and you draw from a deck to see what the suspect is. And Exactly. And if, if, that was, if that was part of the base game, that would raise it up Judge for me higher. Yeah. But even, I actually even, want... But even before, the fact that we did a one versus three. Yeah. That's, that's a little more co-op and... I, I like that, but for me, it's going to be a borrow because of that. Okay. Uh, I like that. I mean, you can tell that Warhammer people helped work on this thing, and I think it's a really cleaned up Warhammer rules. I mean, there's less units on the board, so there's less fiddliness with, like, this one's not, you know, touching that one, and the, this one has line of sight. And or this the one base is partially covered. So it, it does feel a lot cleaner. Uh, I love the – I think it does feel thematic. It feels like every single thing I'm looking at, like, feels like it's Judge Dredd. I really like this IP. Um I actually think that this might be a buy for me. Yes. Um, and I, I think it's because I think that the rule system, there's a couple things. The bones of the rule system are good, and I don't have all of those yeah. horrible feelings like when I play other miniatures games. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's Warhammer. Sometimes it's other ones where I'm like, I really don't like that where we're, we're like looking down with like laser pointers, and mm -hmm. there's there's coherency. Oh, you know, your coherency. toes behind a pebble. Yeah, and so <laughs> don't have to they cleaned that. a lot of that up, yes. and so I do think it's a solid, and I might, I may just be biased because I really, really like Judge Dredd, but this is a game that I would like to play again. Yeah. I want to see how balanced it is. From this side, I, I could definitely, this could absolutely be uh, lower down to a, a borrow mm -hmm. if it is true that the judges are just underpowered. Yeah. Because I think that that's the, like, thematically not where I want. Yeah. You also rolled like max hits. He <laughs> every, it was almost every like three time. scenarios. Yeah, it was he just rolled max insane. hits. He picked nothing but our token. So I think he, it was like, he dodged two high explosive yeah. so I think shots. We, I think we honestly, like, luck was completely and totally on our side. So I don't want to shit on the game's balance just yet. Mm -hmm. You don't want to play a couple times. So yeah. I like what I see so far. I agree. A point by system, uh, good point, God. I think this is a buy, uh, definitely, and for all those reasons stated, the only system I'm suspect on are drawing chips from the bag. There's eight enemy chips, and there's two judge chips. Yes, the judge chips have stars, uh, but you have to roll to get that chip back uh, in the bag. But even with that, it, it, it's like, mm, is that balanced? Pending that, that could bring it back down to a borrow. I'll go uh, through the rules again. Also, it also helps uh, when you're assembling your own scenarios. Because remember that we were following an introductory scenario. Because uh, you'll get to build your own team. You get to build your own kind of meg cards and armory uh, armory cards, etc., etc. So it may get better from there. There is also a campaign mode. Uh, though it's not co-op, but the community has created a co-op mode for it. I'm not sure if it's good, but that's community. So I can't really give it points for that. Um, but I really, really like it. And it's just that chip system. Everything else, like that pan, the stun, the, the cleanness of it was great. Uh, I love the miniatures. I love Warlord. Check this one out. I think it'll it's worth something. Now, there's also... Uh, multiple other miniatures game systems. So I didn't just buy all this and get painted miniatures and painted and, and fucking built this stuff for hours. There are two other Judge Dread systems, which is Gangs of Mega City 1 and then the Mongoose Publishing slash Warlord Games that also worked on that one. This, I think, is a D10, D8 system, maybe. And this is a D6 system that's super, super simple. 
Uh, so maybe in the future we'd have to try these, but I'm very highly encouraged by uh, what I've seen with Judge Dredd. They also have Strontium Dog, which is uh, also comes from the 2000 AD magazine that the system first started with. So Judge Dredd is a, a second sis, uh, game that uses this core rule book. They just changed the license from the Strontium Dog to Judge Dredd. And I have some Strontium Dog uh, guys over there. What I liked about this Johnny last Alpha. scenario, we actually had one of every outcome happen. It's like, yeah, we activated, but again, we played it realistically. It's like, we're not going to go rush towards you, but we took off each choke point. They got to control my guy and put his ass back into bed, so it does still show it, different it proves outcomes it works. for it. So here's some str uh, Strontium Dog guys. Uh, there's Johnny Alpha, if you're familiar with Strontium Dog. He's basically the Judge Dredd of like a bounty hunter mutant future uh that they're in the same universe it's just he's way way far in the future uh and he's ta traveled back in time a few times and actually you can have him show up in this game oh. there he is right there so if you have the miniatures from the strontium dog game then he can show up but anyways Damn. um i like it and we will definitely be playing this one again in the future Thank you guys uh, so much. And, and you know what? I love Judge Dredd so much. As you can see, I have uh, 20 of the graphic novels. I'm just going through the entire library, the complete collection of the Judge Dredd comics. And I've been loving the stories. I would love to make a, bo a board game of Judge Dredd. Now, this is a miniatures game, a skirmish-style miniatures game, small number count. I think the Judge Dredd license would be perfect for a dungeon crawler, oh. like uh -oh. a cooperative like we're dungeon crawler. We're all City judges, or... and there's so many unique enemies that can show up, yes. and then you can have the villain show up. I would love to get a hold of Rebellion and, and talk to them about that. But I'd be down, uh, I'd be down to try that one. Anyways, thank you all guys so much for watching. That's going to be it for us today. And we will see you here tomorrow in which we will be doing um, uh, some Saints Row. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. Anyways, uh, thank you all guys so much. And we will see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys.